Okay, so my name is Phil Kaler, and I'm a professor of entomology at the University of Florida. I've been there for 40 years, and before that I was in the Navy for three years as a medical entomologist in the Navy. So obviously I've seen a lot of change in the industry in, in the years that I've been involved. I remember when I first started in the Navy, our biggest problem was German cockroaches aboard ship. We had German cockroaches in people's bunks. We had people. We had German cockroaches so thick in some of the kitchens that they always have a slope to the deck where if you'd stand still, because of the slope and the number of roaches that were under your feet, you could actually slide and hit the bulkhead. And then along came the baits, and the baits, the first bait work that we did was in 1982, and and. I must admit the first baits didn't look too promising. They didn't work very well on German cockroaches. As a matter of fact, we always said you can't control German cockroaches with baits. You can control American cockroaches. You can control the large species with baits. You can't control German cockroaches with baits. Then came along Combat, Max Force, and now Advion and some of the other baits and we get superb control of, of German cockroaches. However, the German cockroaches have evolved resistance to, to chemicals, and they've also evolved beta version, and so we've, we've seen a change in, in the cockroach populations. Uh, I've also seen a massive change in what we do for termite control, and it's gone all the way from residual chemicals in the soil like chlordane and heptachlor and DDT, that that gave superb control. Then we went into a period of time in the 90s where, where we were using organophosphates that were breaking down in the soil. And we ended up with houses in the mid-1990s where we, they were, we had about 25% of homes built were getting termites within five years of construction. So we changed some of the rules, re-registered some of the termiticides. And at the same point, we were uh, working with the concept of repellent versus non-repellent termiticides. And we've gotten some new termiticides on that, that kill termites very effectively. As a matter of fact, the industry is able to keep their, uh, keep their complaints on termites down to less than 1% in most cases. So we have superb controls now for both cockroaches and termites, which historically have been the, the, the biggest revenue sources for the industry. Then along came bed bugs around the year 1999 to 2000, and nobody knew anything about bed bugs. I remember giving a talk in 2000 saying the bed bugs were going to be a huge issue, and I took along some bed bugs for people to see, and and they they were talking to me afterwards saying, why are you talking about bed bugs? We haven't seen them. Well, guess what? The bed bugs have made a big comeback. There have been all kinds of new approaches to bed bugs, and we still have a long way to go in order to get bed bug control. So, guess what? We have pests that have been traditional problems. The cockroaches went away, they're back. The termites have gone away, they haven't come back yet. And we have bed bugs that have made a huge comeback, and I'm sure that we're going to see more pests in the future. Sorry. Thank you very much, Phil.